Is becoming a cloud engineer actually worth it? This could offend some people, but instead of just saying yes like everyone else, we're gonna take a closer look in this video and see if this job really is so great or if it's overrated and something that you should avoid. We're gonna start with a breakdown of the job responsibilities and then we'll talk about different salaries, the job outlook, the future growth, as well as job satisfaction and how real cloud engineers feel about their jobs. Finally, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons and I'm not gonna hold back in this video at all. So drop a like and subscribe if you want more honest videos like this and let's get started. First, what does a cloud engineer actually do? Well, they typically handle the design, management and maintenance of cloud computing systems. When it comes to the systems, they need to be designed and planned to meet the organization's needs. They will also need to be implemented and deployed according to the design that you made. Then they'll need to be maintained and monitored so that everything runs smoothly, as well as optimized to make sure that it runs in the best possible way, that costs are minimized and that everything is secure. It also has to be integrated with other systems to make sure that the cloud technologies are useful where possible. Now we're going to take a look at these salaries. And according to Indeed, the average base salary for a cloud engineer is around 124,000 per year in the US. There is a wide range of salaries, so do keep that in mind, because on the low end we have about 82,000 per year, and on the high end about 187,000 per year. And as you can see, the range is very wide, and the main factors that will influence your salary will be your experience level, your company of course, as well as your location. There can actually be a significant salary difference depending on what city or what state you're located in, but of course some places also have a higher cost of living, different tax rates and other costs that you might want to consider, so it's important to be aware of multiple factors and consider them. If we compare the salary with some other tech jobs, we have the software engineer with around 105,000 per year, but of course it can also depend on the company here. There are many software engineers that are making way above that as well. We have the systems engineer at around 109,000 and a development operations engineer at around 124,000. Moving on, we're going to talk about the job outlook. Will there even be jobs in the future, in let's say 5 years or 10 years or even further? Is it actually worth learning these skills? Is it something for the future? Now, cloud has been growing at an insane rate for many, many years now. And for that reason, there's all sorts of different predictions that we can make. In general, as the market grows, well, more cloud engineers will be needed. And according to Grandview Research, this is how the projected growth looks like until the year 2030 and it's expected to grow at a compound annual rate of 14.1% from 2023 to 2030. That's a pretty good rate, and there are many different reasons mentioned why it's growing this fast, but it all comes down to cloud computing becoming more and more important for companies due to lots of benefits such as on-demand availability, pay-as-you-go models, and just improvements in the cloud space in general. What's very interesting is this cloud computing market map. Here we can see some trends by region, and North America is the largest market and is expected to be so. However, the fastest growing market is actually Asia. So whether you're from North America or some other region, chances are that these skills are going to be high in demand even outside countries like the US. But perhaps most importantly, are people actually happy with their jobs? If they could choose again, would they still become a cloud engineer? And how are they actually feeling about their career? According to 9,000 reviews from cloud engineers, they rated their work-life balance at a 3.9 out of 5. That's pretty good. The compensation and benefits received an average score of 3.7, and different career opportunities got a 3.9 out of 5 as well. But numbers don't tell us everything. So let's take a look at some of the pros and cons of becoming a cloud engineer. First, as a disclaimer, these are not my experiences and I've read different reviews, gone through forums, discussions and just gathered things that people find to be pros and cons of this job. These are really important things that you should know before you get started and if you don't know this then you might end up going down the wrong path and doing something that's actually a terrible option for you. So we should probably be aware of this stuff before you get started. Let's begin with the pros. There is a high demand across various industries for these cloud skills as they are very necessary for companies right now and that is also reflected in the job market. If you have the right skills, then you have the opportunities available to you. For that reason, the salaries are also very competitive even compared to other popular tech jobs like the software engineer 
and it's also a job that you can do from home, of course depending on the company. The field is also really exciting with new technologies, new ideas and new progress being made all the time, so if you want to be at the forefront of this then cloud can be a good field to get into. Let's talk about some of the downsides now. It does require learning to stay up to date and that can be a downside for some people because when new technologies come out you'll have to learn them and understand them to be able to use them. It can also be really exciting if you are interested in the technologies itself, so keep that in mind as well. Next, your work is really important and you need to maintain high system availability and security. This could get stressful if you're dealing with critical tasks and errors that could affect the entire company with all the clients and staff and customers and everybody. And these are just some pros and cons to get you started. And if you're a cloud engineer, I would really like to know your experiences in the comments below. Here's another video I think you might like somewhere on the screen. I have no idea where it is, but it's somewhere there. And check that out and I'll see you over there.